Ohio Bobcats welcomed in Bowling Green to Bobrin Stadium this weekend. After dropping a game on Friday night, Saturday game ended in a thrilling finish with a walk-off single to give the Bobcats the win. But here on Sunday, it was a much different story as the Cats lost to Bowling Green 11-1. Mom's weekend at Ohio University, which meant packed stands at Bob Rin Stadium when Bowling Green rolled into town. Now, typically, Coach Rob Smith has been rotating around eight or nine pitchers a game, but on Friday night, he stuck with Jake Miller for six innings. In those six innings, Miller struck out six batters, but it just wasn't enough to get the W. Ohio struck first with this single in the top of the first inning. Mitch Longo brought in Garrett Black, extending his hitting streak to 10 games, but ended up finishing the game one of four with an RBI. But Bowling Green's righty Jason Link was just too much for Ohio to handle as Bowling Green took the series opener 4-2 on Friday night. Now Ohio returned to Bob Wren on Saturday afternoon for yet again another beautiful day at the ballpark. Longo had a day on Saturday going 5-6 of six with two doubles and a home run. The Bobcats found themselves down 7-5 to five heading into the ninth inning, but resiliency is this team's middle name when it comes to battling at the end of games this season. And they yet again rose to the occasion. After Garrett Black tied the ball game up with a hit to the left side, Mitch Longo then loaded the bases back up, setting up Jake Madsen's walk-off single RBI to win the game, giving the Cats the 8-7 victory on Saturday evening. However, Sunday was a much different story. Bowling Green freshman pitcher Zach Carey was throwing heat all afternoon, limited Ohio to only one earned run on four hits over the span of the eight innings that he pitched. Simply put, it was just one of those days Ohio couldn't get anything going offensively as they ultimately fell 11-1. to Coach Smith touched on Ohio's six errors in Sunday's game after the game. You know, just uh, didn't make the plays. Yeah, I just had an opportunity to, to, to make some plays and didn't. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's how you put yourself in position to get beat 11-1, to yeah. Ohio will return to action on Tuesday night as they travel to Youngstown State in a non-conference matchup. For WOUB Sports, I'm Nathan Wiseman.